Hey everybody and welcome back to our channel. In today's video, we are going to show you how to use Adroyo to create sequence diagram. Let's begin. Now, the first thing that you need to do to create sequence diagram is just click on the start button. What will happen is it would be forwarded to the section we're in. You need to choose where do you want to save your diagram. Options include cloud storage, Google Drive, OneDrive, or device. You can also use your Dropbox account, GitHub, or GitLab. But if you want to decide later, just click this button. After selecting these storage options, from here, you might want to choose the right template if you click the Create New Diagram. Okay, so from here, you can choose from any of the following. You can go to the Smart Template, Business, charts cloud engineering flow charts maps network other software tables there's a lot of that you can choose from but i suggest two options for you you can create a blank diagram if you have a, a sequence that you have already in place all right for example if we're working with a client and the client wants you to do this specific diagram that you have already built or if you're working with multiple freelancers or team members click the blank diagram so you can start from scratch and update it accordingly but what i could suggest to you you see this there is an option for the sequence diagram below a lot easier all right so that's two options or you can click the generate button because this would give you like a generated template for the sequence diagram if you go to the smart template there is also an option here to type in sequence diagram for instance and then select the diagram that you wanted all right so click the sequence diagram and click the generate it would give you kind of like a suggested diagram that you might want to use if you want you see this if you are happy with that just click the create button and you will be forwarded to a next page we're in from here All right, so you have now the. Now, once it's ready, all right, you might want to add more actors and objects along the way. All right, you see, you would be forwarded to the uh, left side panel, the uh, tool options. If you can't find it, you might want to click the full screen right here. All right, click this button that says full screen so you have an access to the toolbar and the format panel. The format panel here, if you can't find this one right here, go to the view click the format and you would have an option to integrate and access the format panel now from this section we might want to add more elements along the way i'm going to add an image right here import from my device and then i'm gonna place it accordingly to my sequence diagram right you might like you want to make sure that all the elements have been placed i'm gonna make the uh, image a little bit smaller all right for this case go to this because the format panel is kind of um, essential because you have an option to choose a different color for that so it's kind of like interactive it's a lot um visible for example i'm going to be choosing a different light orange kind of like uh, this one right here click on apply and this you can add more colors along the way all right for example this one you can rename it as t and this is going to be lamps. We're going to call it like sequence. Now from here, you have an option for the text. Now, once you're here, you can go to the left side panel of your dashboard and type in text. You might want to add interaction messages, all right? For example, this kind of like this one right here. You want to make sure this is going to be uh, the uh, messages or the lifelines to represent the messages exchanged between actors and objects, all right? And to add message, all you're going to do is go to the connector tool, connector, type in connector. And then put the connector on your sequence all right for example this kind of message i wanted 
and this is heavily connected to the diagram all right and again you can label the arrows to specify the message between like login request response you can also specify whether the message is synchronous or a solid line or asynchronous or dash lines all right you can also add in activation bars we have it here all right so these are going to be some of the activation bars you can put it here make it a bit bigger since we're creating for a sequence diagram you might want to add this and put a connector arrow again type in arrow maybe this one now the arrow again you have the option to choose the di a different color for that maybe a light green so that it's going to be like visible and you can adjust the positioning here line style all right and of course the fill in colors maybe we're going to be using a different color for this kind of like a shaded orange all right and then you can add additional details like notes or annotations by dragging the text boxes or the note shapes so once you are happy with how the sequence diagram have you have been created you might want to go to the uh, file on the upper left corner click on save you want to make sure that you have the updated sequence diagram before you lose internet connection especially if you're working with the web version all right sometimes uh most of the times Droyo automatically saves the work but it pays to check that you already have saved it now after doing so you have multiple options here okay so let me tell you that you have an option to export this sequence diagram that you have created as png jpeg or any other image formats for example we're going to be choosing png you have an option to zoom in and put in a border width depending on your preferences you have an option for this selection only or is it going to be the whole diagram are you going to include a transparent background the appearance is going to be dark or light you have all of these you can add shadow or grid and click on the export button and the export button you have an option to save it to your cloud storage such as google drive onedrive dropbox github and gitlab i'm going to choose my google drive click on save all right just wait for it now the option is you might want to go to the publish link if you wanted to embed this diagram sequence diagram to your for example your website like squarespace wordpress or even your e-commerce while at it you have an option to print this diagram if you wanted to present it to a meeting all right click on the preview button you have all these now on the top right corner is going to be the share button click that and you would be forwarded to this option right here if you're working with multiple freelancers team members or your client just click the share button and you should be able to generate a public link and send it to them for collaboration feedback and a lot more that's it for today's video thank you so much for watching we will see you again in the next one